Hey, Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI of the Khmer. Now, this time, we have reset the game. We have gone back down to Emperor Difficulty because we are playing with the JFT's Rule with Faith mod. I wanted to... I wanted to play the Khmer, but I wanted to play the JFT Faith mod, and I couldn't... I couldn't get it to work on Deity because there was like too much new stuff being thrown at me, which, and I wasn't taking my time. So I'm going to take my time here a little bit and just spend a bit more time getting, get a handle on things. So the first thing we are going to do is uh, pop down our city right on location, because if I believe correctly, excuse me, this is the button that I want. We are on a hill. This is a much better starting location than we got in our last game. Uh, primarily a, we're on a hill in plains and we have a grassland hill with a forest on it. So this is already way better than our deity run because we have almost 50% more production than we had in the other game. Make your way up here. Now we do have also th four luxuries within range of our capital. This is amazing by the way. That means we're up to uh, your, <clears throat> your capital starts with plus one amenity to begin with. So we can go up to potentially 10 population with no amenity problems as far as I understand amenities. In fact, sorry, uh, five if you count duplicates, but four total. Uh, four unique luxuries. Now, we are on Emperor. So there's a little bit less pressure on things. Now, we don't have stone nearby, do we? Because it is possible to get Stonehenge on Emperor. Now, we don't have stone. So we're going to have to kind of make a, make a choice about how we exactly go about this. Uh, so here's my current kind of game plan that I've got going. I want to get my religion founded early. So I'm going to want to get my holy sites out. I'm going to want... I think I'm going to go for a scout. On Emperor, I feel safe going for a scout. I wouldn't I wouldn't really do it on Deity, though. Uh, I'm going to go for a scout so I can get more efficient information. I'm going to get an early religion. I'm going to use Domri's plus uh, Swordsman, probably. Uh, maybe something else, though. Maybe, like... Probably not knights, but maybe like... Uh, maybe it would be knights. Maybe I'll make a couple of heavy chariots. Maybe I'll make some heavy chariots. Purchase upgrade. Yeah, I might go... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do heavy cavalry and siege. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a heavy cavalry and siege kind of game. And I might try to push somebody early. But we need to kind of make a decision. So what are our big tile improvements in our first ring? There are no major technologies that we need to improve these. A chop and a mine here wouldn't be bad has its potential. So mining is an option. I think I might just go um, astrology into... I might just go straight astrology here. Okay, we've got a really nice river. We're going to want to settle that really densely on this river if we can. Oh my god, and a, and a holy side city, or a <clears throat> faith-based city-state. And we're definitely first to meet them. Oh no, we weren't. How are we not first? Interesting. It was like five turns, somebody beat me to them. Now the monastery improvement is something that we may want to consider. Mon mona monastery. Plus two faith. And healing for religious units. So, um, that opens up options. Let's go this way. Swoop around. There's a there's a tribal village. Now we have 13 turns until this. So I'm going to put two turns into a slinger, and then the second the city grows, we will swap over to a um, thingy. I'm going to want to purchase. Th this tile, probably, I would like this tile because it's actually technically better for what I want to be doing, but the gold isn't bad either, so I might go for the gems. Unless the city's going to grow there naturally. The city will grow there naturally. Here's Pericles. Okay, we got advanced riding. I don't know what we picked up from that village. No, we didn't pick up a great work. Oh, we picked up another scout. Eh. Not bad. I'm actually not going to complain about that. Having an extra scout lets you get a lot of information. But there's Lisbon. We were the first to meet Lisbon. Somehow. Don't ask me. 
And now we want to switch to settlers. That's going to grow there. Okay. I think I will still purchase and work this. Oh, the gold is really hard to pass up though. How hard is the gold to pass up though? I think I, I think I need the production to make this line up. Yeah. Need the production if I if it's gonna line up. Another tribal village down there. Good scouting information. So uh, this is like the build that I really like when I'm going for a religion, by the way. It's where you basically go scout or settler, uh, sorry, uh, scout or slinger into settler into holy site. Because it lets you get an early city out, which can mean um, you get to secure either a really good location for yourself or deny a really good location to your enemy. Wow, I managed to get Su um, Stockholm as well. That's amazing. Kind of bummed I didn't get Arma. See if you No, not like... God, why did you go in that tile? That was where I was trying to click. I was a bit too zoomed out to be able to click accurately. Oh my goodness. Um, well, this basically tells me I need to like immediately change what I was doing here. So I'm going to move away from the gold. This would be five turns versus this seven. I want to grow before I hit the settler because I think that wastes less food. So I'm going to work one turn of the improved wheat. And then now that syncs up nicely. Oh, hello, Greece. We meet again. Go stand on the uh, gems. They are truly amazing. I just want you to hang on here and keep an eye on that. Oh, hello, horseman. You are not an ideal foe that I want to be seeing right now. Nice one. I think he wants to settle here, so I'm going to try and block. Okay, there's astrology and code of laws. Now, code of laws... Definitely want urban planning, plus what? I think I'll go for urban planning and god king. So that means chiefdom, which is what I have locked in right now. So god king and urban planning. That means I feel comfortable being this way. That's fine. Oh no. The place I want to place my holy site is not an available place. I would love to put it on this marsh, but I'll put it here instead. That's fine. We can put our aqueduct there. Okay, so we got astrology. We need mining. We need mining to be able to place this mine. It'll take four turns. The foreign trade is a good move. Skip a turn. Cross the river. Continue to explore. Getting really, really good scouting information, actually. We have pretty good land. Lack of rivers is a problem, as usual, particularly as this sieve, because, you know, we just have really good um, bonuses for being on rivers. Both our holy sites and our aqueducts, which are things we want to be building in every city, um, get benefits from being on a river. And currently, we are certainly not on a river. Hello, tribal village. Go there. Just chase this down. I just want to know where he settles. I don't want to know much else. Make your way over here. We'll go to the next turn. You are wise to leave our neighboring city state to us. Yes, okay, sure, fine. That sounds reasonable to me. One more turn until mining is completed. So my current strat like where am I gonna settle here? 
Let's have a look. Can I, I can't fit three cities in here. Well, I definitely want to secure... I definitely want to secure these horses and the gems and the bananas and stuff like that. I want to, I want to, I want to secure my river cities first. Because that's where I get I, where I get the most value from my sieve. Uh, did I accidentally switch to this and not do the settler? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Listen, guys. <laughs> it's Emperor. We can get away with mistakes like that. Uh, I can't believe I've done that. That was like a waste of turns. I've just basically wasted turns. Um, which is super not ideal. We've sent you a delegation, Berigus. Don't be alarmed. No wooden horse involved. Okay, so he's actually pretty reasonably happy with me. There's mining. I can't believe I made that mistake. Oh, I feel so dumb. Um. So. Do basics. I'm going to want to get my hands on a couple of heavy chariots, so I want to get that unlocked. Part of my uh, mid-game war strategy. Although, I'm not sure if that's going to work for me here. And um, we'll get marble online as well. Okay, these are all fine tiles. I think I actually prefer food right now, because growth is really useful when you're this early in the game. I've totally messed up, though. Uh, this city's going to be delayed by a few turns. Which, in the grand scope of the game, isn't a huge amount of time. But it is a delay, and it does hurt me slightly. Um, it's a delay you can live with, but I'm... You know, obviously I'm never happy when I make a mistake. Uh, come on, horseman. I don't need this from you right now. Let's see if we can get this holy side up. Why did he have to come all the way out to me? Why couldn't he go to the, Why couldn't he mess with Stockholm? So he shouldn't be able to make it to my settler. I'll need to make a slinger or two to try and fight off these horsemen. Maybe we'll go for a couple of chariots. So right there is where I want to settle. As far as I can tell. And you need to hold off. Pop up here. Hello, tribal village. Looks like we're actually pretty isolated here. Which is pretty lucky. We've only got Greece to really compete with. So we could kind of go for any victory type we wanted. There's a boost for mysticism, which is what Arma wanted, right? Okay, but oddly it didn't actually give me an envoy. I don't understand that. Sure. Take two turns for a slinger. Okay, am I alone in growing for a great profit? Nobody else is competing for them right now. Next turn. Please don't run around my city and go for the holy site. Okay, I obviously want a holy site on the river, but where? Right there. That'll nab me four tiles. Okay, next turn. You people settle too close. Apologies, I will look elsewhere. I want to see if I can get him to declare friendship with me. Okay, so maybe next turn he will declare friendship with me. That's the positive aspect. Okay. Oh, don't do this to me, Barb. I should have known not to finish it. But yeah, i got to get a couple of heavy cavalry here. Um, to try and deal with these things. Uh, I'll also want a couple of archers. I'll want two archers, two catapults, two heavy cavalry, and two warriors. It's kind of like the build I'm going for. Two, 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 two. Build. Two of each things. Uh, should do the trick. Okay, early empire is the next thing that we want, because these cities should grow. Speaking of which, what tiles are you working? The banana's a good tile. You chose correctly. 
not having rivers was is such a huge disadvantage. It's actually staggering. Yeah, that's actually superb. How competitive am I feeling for this right? So I want to be... I'm going to go for the shrine now. It's a great barrier reef. Nice one. I'm really looking forward to the new natural wonders. Some of them look pretty nice. Um, okay, I want to know what's on this tile. Okay, now we can finally improve this. You're going to stay in the city because you're a garrison unit. Shrine. Might send this slinger out to see what they can find. Man, oh god, have we gotten like major isolation again? It means we can be really, really greedy here. That was the harvesting of sheep and cattle. Get up on that hill. Improve this. What does he work? And definitely want to work this. Definitely want to work this. Okay, this is the same amount of growth, so I'll take the culture. Are you kidding me? I was first to meet Auckland? What is happening? What is actually happening? What in the... What is happening? So I want you to come back to be an archer soon. It looks like he's trying to declare war on me. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I'm going to sell him my marble. See if he still wants to declare on me. I can probably purchase a unit really fast, so I'm not too worried. 20 faith. That'll be a pantheon. Get the hell out of dodge. Next turn. Progress towards early empire. Choose a pantheon. I'm thinking divine spark or river goddess here. We do have... We have potential for some river... River stuff... River Goddess just suits really well with my save, but Divine Spark is super nice because it helps you guarantee that early religion. That's all it does. I'm gonna take amenities. It probably won't get it won't net us a huge amount. But I I feel like it suits the theme of the sieve really well to take amenities, because we do want to be building holy sites on rivers. And so it seems like we should uh, do things that reinforce that. Now, ideally, I would be, able to be building settlers right now, but I'm going to get one heavy chariot to help defend myself. Um, I think that's a reasonable move because, again, I want to do a... I would like to do a, a push with some domries and stuff like that later, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to pull that off. It really depends on the state of the board. Uh, ooh... Okay, so he's actually settling somewhere I was hoping to settle. Hmm. I do need to still settle over here, though. Okay, you need to come back. You need to come in here. One more turn until you can become an archer. Move up there. Next turn. Looking like he's getting ready to declare. May the forces of evil be... Come on, Archer. Would like to get my aqueducts up, actually. Because it'll also allow me to get my catapults. I'm thinking fast war against Greece, and then mass settle. I like that plan. I like a fast war against Greece. Um, that, seems like she, that seems like a really good idea, actually. We eliminate our closest opponent. And then we... Um, and then we do what we need to do. So I have the settler policy, but it's not the one I need now. We go for craftsmanship. Let's have a look. What are the policies available to us now? Um, land surveyors. I'm not purchasing any tiles. 
I would like to change governments here maybe to Horde. Mm. Imperial column Imperial Columns actually really appeals to me right now. So I'm gonna to switch to Polis. Move the plus one production up. Well, I'll move it out first. I'll move the plus two from the palace, and I'll move the production up, and then I can switch to settler production later. And that plus two, that plus two culture will help me get to these things a little bit quicker, up to uh, like political philosophy and theology and stuff, which will give me a lot of useful things for um, building up my faith. Okay, so he's bemoaning my lack of troops. How about now? Let's get a second heavy chariot. I'm actually tempted to declare myself. While well, I'm still an ancient. So I think I have the units to fight him. I'm not so scared. I'm gonna skip I'm gonna I'm gonna try an early war and skip settling kind of play. And you're just fortified there, nice. You're gonna do a bit of scouting. I'm gonna take ranger promotions on you. Uh, unit needs orders. Go ahead and grab that. Knowledge of bronze working, hey. That's pretty nice. So he's looking for a fight. I'm gonna pull you back into the forest. Shoot here. We'll take a hit. Pull you into the forest. Fortify in there. Come over here, next turn. Alright, nice one. So I should be able to get this kill unless that heals. So I'm going to pull you back to heal. Shoot there. You'll fortify for a turn. Choose Civic. State workforce. No new policies that I really care about, I don't think. Yeah, I would actually like that, so I may switch over to this as well. When I finish making the uh, heavy chariot. I should be able to kill this. Then heal for a turn with this guy. And then I should be able to uh, make another archer. Maybe jubate them into attacking me. Jubated, come on, next turn. Okay, this warrior here is dead. Move forward. I'm going to promote on you, Garrison. Kill. Nice. Fortify in place. Choose production. You'll be able to retreat across the river safely. Heavy chariot completed. Ah, let's do three heavy chariots. Next turn. Oh, I thought you would survive that. It's unfortunate. There's a dead unit. Across the river. The unit healing over there, okay, good. There's Argos Alpine, next turn. Pull back a tile. Nice, getting good kills. Next turn. Early war is risky, but also really, really powerful. So I'm going to pull you back, I'm going to shoot. You take a hit, move you out. You should survive this hit. I don't know if you get defensive terrain bonuses. But you should survive this, in theory. Oh, he has oligarchy. Mm, you won't survive that. Never mind. If he didn't have oligarchy... Oh, he backed up. That's good. Let's 
Got our flank on. I'm not actually benefiting from flanking bonuses right now. Because I need to pick up uh, military tradition. How am I doing religious-wise? Let us purchase a shrine in here. Make our faith go a little bit better. Okay, so we have three heavy chariots. Let's get a secondary archer. Oh, I meant to change my policies. I'll pay the money. We're going to go to Horde. We're going to switch to... Um, unit maintenance reduced. And... Uh, plus 50% production. Basically mean I can swarm units for a while. Stand in his way. And we'll just pump, we'll pump units to uh, pump up the volume. Shoot, attack. Block, block, next turn. No peace, my friend. It is time for you to die. Usually don't go like an early military game. Uh, if I'm going for a religion. But it seems like it's kind of working out right now. So we need to get over to Ephesus. We'll move soon. So that'll be three of those. Let's grab three warriors. Your scouting information. Let's get you prepped and ready for the combat. Should be able to take that city. Unless he has an archer in it, then it'll be tougher. But if it's just a slinger, it won't be too bad. Make a couple warriors. Really just to have like a rounded out army that can be upgraded continuously. Another warrior. Let's have a look at the old faith thing. Okay, we're still top in terms of points earned. Heal up. Heal up. Did I ever get a shrine in here? I did. I should be earning more points. Oh no, I didn't. I, I went for the other thing. Never mind. We're fine. Okay. This is scary. Forgot he gets those. I always seem to always pick the exact perfect strategy that the person's uh, special military unit counters. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. I'm like, yeah, let's go for heavy chariots, and then like immediately I remember, oh yeah, he has like a unique spearman. Or I'll go for um I'll go for like an archer strategy, and then I'll be against Movemba, who has like really strong units that like defend really well against archers. That's really bad. He doesn't have walls up. He does now in his cap. I could attack here, but I'm not going to. Oh, it is blocked, actually. I'll wait until next turn to attack. When I can hit with all of them. Go this way. Okay, you've done all that. Let's get our settlers out. Engineering, and then we'll get three catapults as well. But yeah, that's kind of the plan. Get three catapults, see if we can take on Athens as well. We'll take on Ephesus. Get into the hill. Warrior completed. Need a trader, basic infrastructure, settler and trader. Uh, no, you should actually just wait a turn. Put one turn into a settler. Because I'm going to have to go double settle. I'm going to have to be building settlers out of two cities here um, to catch up. Because uh, I should already have like plenty of cities out. But because I decided to go this weird kind of early war strategy, things are not going to look uh, the way they normally do for a religion game. 
I'll tell you what I'm going to do, though. I'm going to call that an end to this episode, and we will continue this next time. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this sort of lower stakes emperor game. Well, I figure out the whole religion, JFT's rule with faith thing. But yeah, uh, please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, though, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.